Right, okay. Um, what I, I think we'll stay on ticket prices a bit for then, because there's been a lot of debate about that recently as well, and, and it ha- it's, it's a big problem. I mean, the, the fact that, as you say, Huddersfield, I think, the adult ticket's £179, fees and ticket, um, and that compared to the, the 500 or so that it is for Ipswich, and one of the highest ticket prices in the league for arguably some of the worst style football at the moment. Um, uh, that's a massive issue. Um, the other thing is that Mick McCarthy, of course, talking about winning will bring the fans back. Um, and, and, of course, it will bring some fans back. Of course, people want to be seeing win- us winning games rather than losing or drawing them. But I'm not convinced, as much as McCarthy is, that that's the only issue. I think a lot of people who gave up their season ticket last year and don't come to games anymore are not necessarily just because of the the, the winning or losing games. It, it, a lot of it is based on the style of football and the entertainments being offered for mon- for the, the money. And, and even if we're not the most expensive tickets in the league, we're probably ranking amongst the worst for, for value for money in terms of what's being on offer. And I think the lack of entertainment factor is why people are coming, not, necess- not coming, ra- not necessarily the... I think it is a cross the, between the, the two. Mm. But I think if we were in the top three of the league winning every home game 1-0... I think we'd still have bigger crowds, but I I do think the ticket prices are a massive, massive... They've got to be sorted out. I mean, it's just not not right at all to charge up to 35 quid for for an adult ticket to watch a team that hasn't scored in four games. And they always do the ticket promotions for the small games. So why, why do you want a particularly big crowd against Burton? You know, do it for the big games. Villa was a couple of weeks ago. Why not have that? This is Villa's first season outside of the t- outside of the Premier League, you know, and that would have been a massive attraction for people to come down and see Aston Villa. And you can have a massive ticket promotion, get twenty five, you know, twenty six thousand in the ground. And we might have it might have lifted the the crowd, uh, lifted the team. But I, the way they're approaching everything is just so wrong. It, it just seems like nobody upstairs has got a clue what they're doing. I mean, you have to question ticket prices when we didn't sell out at the home game against Norwich. There has to be some reason behind that. Cause yeah, the tickets are way too expensive. We're on Sky. Fill the stadium. Get yeah. an atmosphere. In previous seasons, we I mean, the stadium holds just over 30,000, you know, give or take the odd, you know, couple of hundred. And we've been getting like 29 and a half, nearly touching 30,000 for every single derby we've had in recent years. But this year, what was it, 24,000? It's because people don't want to, you know, we're, we're significantly worse off than Norwich at the moment. People know it was going to be a, a really hard game, and people don't want to pay thirty-five quid to see us embarrassed by our, or potentially embarrassed by our rivals. So, I, it, it's it's disgusting. 